So tell me, what does peace mean to you? Peace to me means um, just putting aside your differences to focus on a bigger picture and just working together even though like there might be some disagreements, just putting that all aside and focusing on what really matters. And how has being a member of the Rotary helped with promoting peace? I think it helps promote peace because of the fact that we are helping throughout the community and like just serving our community shows that everyone's in this together and um, every, anyone could do it. What does peace mean to you, Kate? <clears throat> peace to me is when groups of people realize that um, the differences that set them apart from other groups are really not that um, apparent and we're all just human beings. So when we realize that, we can come together and not have as many arguments, not as much conflict. And why is it important to promote peace? It's important to promote peace, especially in a time like this, because um, everything that's going on this year, the pandemic, riots, it's easy to start to feel like you're sectioned into a box away from other people. And so I feel we really need to make sure that everybody knows they're not alone in this, that we're all connected. Wonderful. And what does peace mean to you, Jody? What peace means is a single person wanting to make a difference. So they go out, they make their contacts, you know, um, and they find something that they can do, whether that's helping a friend, opening a door, joining a club that, you know, promotes peace, like Rotary Interact, um, or getting in contact with somebody who needs it. Um, I've seen a lot of different things online because that's kind of one way of how we've been in contact with everybody online and you know they're sharing posts of helping others or quotes of motivation and to me that's peace. And what are some things that in the Rotary Interact Club does? Well the first project we have is Peace Week with Miss Campbell. Um, we do a high action for the Pioneer Home. And that raises a lot of money. We join up with the Ketchikan Wellness Collision um, and then we do a color run. We have all sorts of kinds of things. We work with First City players for, you know, helping out, um, wiping tables, anything we can do, they contact us. We are helping with Totem to Totem this weekend, um, serving water, of course, socially distanced. Um, but a lot of different things around the community. Whatever we can get our hands on, we can do. Thank you very much. And what does peace mean to you, Evelyn? To me, peace is like, although it can be through groups of people, it's also like a personal journey. It's by finding inner balance with your different perspectives and biases and really using that inner balance to interact with other people in order to cooperate, in order to, you know, find peace and find balance with other groups of people who are also along that same emotional journey. Do you think that it's important to promote peace here at K High? I definitely do think it is because, you know, with all the recent events, I think every single student has a different perspective. And so you have about 600 different perspectives and views of the world right now going on. And the only way that we're all going to be able to get through this and, you know, stay in school, as our new motto is, is by, you know, really finding that inner balance within ourselves in order to talk and interact with other students. And I think that's just important because, you know, we're gonna have so much conflict here in the school if we can't find that inner peace within ourselves to really be able to talk to other people and maintain composure when it comes to these harsher um, topics that we're talking about. Thank you. Henry, tell me about the peace proclamation that the student body submitted. Well, the, pre, uh, the peace proclamation is basically just the way of the students saying that they are advocates of peace. And as SBA leader, it's showing that SBA and the people that lead the community is supporting the idea of advocating for peace. And so by making this proclamation and giving it to uh, you know the city and the borough and the school board, uh, it's basically a way of showing that all the leaders in Ketchikan advocate for peace. 
So it starts with the students, who are the ones who get going, as you can see with Rotary, and then we just push it along and we give it to uh, you know the city on September 21st. And basically, at that point, they'll be saying that they agree with us and that they want to advocate for peace. So it's basically a way of uh, moving forward with this whole peace week, because for the last four years, it's only been a K-high event, but if we give it and it is uh, passed by the city, then it will be a catch a can. It'll be a catch can event. Why do you think it's important to have government involved in the concept of peace? Because if you look throughout history, government is always the building point of society. So without the government support, um, a lot of ideas don't happen. But if the government, if your government officials come out in support of, uh, you know, Peace Week, for example, it will be more widely accepted, and it will be pushed by the leaders, so more and more people will be involved with it. Especially if you get, um, you know, the city government involved instead of just the SBA government. And they are going to read that at their September 17th meeting? Yes, yes. They'll read it aloud um, September 17th. Wonderful. And what does peace mean to you? To me, peace means to acknowledge the conflict that is at hand, but to deal with it with nonviolence. A lot of times we think of peace as no conflict at all, but there's always conflict. But to be peaceful, you acknowledge and deal with that conflict without violence. And it's really that simple. Wonderful. Um, I'd like to read a joint proclamation of the Ketchikan Gateway Bureau in the city of Ketchikan. Whereas the issue of peace embraces the deepest hopes of all people and remains humanity guiding inspiration. And whereas in 1981, the United Nations proclaimed the International Day of Peace by devoted to commemorating and strengthening the ideas of peace both within and among all nations and people. And whereas in 2017, the students and staff at Ketchikan High School created Kings for Peace and planted a peace poll featuring the words, may peace prevail on earth in six languages reflecting the Ketchikan's traditional and contemporary culture to serve as a visual reminder of the importance of global peace. And whereas um, the students at Ketchikan High School challenge the citizens of Ketchikan and the surrounding communities to work toward shaping peace together by promoting respect, compassion, strategic planning, sharing goods and information, and regular and robust community dialogue. And whereas Ketchikan High School supports these ideas and it committed to helping the students prepare for the, uh, and participate in Peace Day activities, learn skills needed to resolve conflicts peacefully, and cultivate a sense of active citizenship. And whereas the theme of the 2020 International Day of Peace is shaping peace together, and whereas the borough and the city of Ketchikan support the students of the Ketchikan High School, efforts to promote peace throughout the community, and whereas we jointly do hereby proclaim September 21st, 2020 as Kings for Peace Day and encourage all citizens to reflect upon the importance of peace, kindness, and nonviolence. Signed on behalf of the Ketchikan Gateway Borough in the city of Ketchikan, Rodney Dial, Mayor, and Bob Sievertson, Mayor. Who's here to receive this award tonight? Come forward. Yeah, on behalf of KHI SBA and K as a whole, uh, we really thank you all for signing this and appreciating this. It's uh, something that we've been working forward to for a long time. And it's really nice for all of the community to accept the same kind of ideal as the students, as for peace, you know? And it started off at, you know, KHI, and it started with the students being peaceful towards each other, but especially during this, uh, you know, interesting time in American history, it's really important for such a simple concept to be taken and really uh, stretched out as we can go with being peaceful and respecting one another. So thank you guys very much for this. All, all of KHI thanks you. Thank you. And on behalf of KHI Rotary Interact, I would also like to thank you guys for this honor. Um, as you know, the motto for this year is Shaping Peace Together, and there will be an event at Saturday down at Birth 4 where uh, we Rotary will be selling uh, tie-dye masks, and the proceeds to that will go to a charitable organization. Thank you guys. Thank you. That's it. All right.
Well, thank you guys very much for coming.